July 1st, that's today, I become president of Gordon-Conwell Seminary. I came on the payroll April 1st. A lot of people thought it was a joke, but it's actually true. I'm here to stay. Well, this morning, I like to usually start off with something I read from Scripture, and this morning I read uh, 1 Corinthians 12. I thought it was really quite appropriate that God would bring this to my mind because one of the themes we're going to be working on this year is uh, one Gordon Conwell, or what does it mean for us to be a single seminary on four different sites, urban, rural, northern, southern, with all of our different programs. 1 Corinthians 12, 12, For just as the body is one, and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body. So it is with Christ. For in the one Spirit we were all baptized into one body. Jews and Greeks, slaves are free, and we were all made to drink of one Spirit. It's a reminder of the fact that we're not alone. Uh, we come together as a body of Christ. Uh, it's also a reminder of the great diversity that there is. He says in here, Jews are Greeks, slaves are free. Those are extreme categories uh, for Paul writing that. And we're an extreme group. We come from all over the world, different ages, different past experiences. And uh, so I think that's a great reminder of one of the concerns that we have as a seminary and one of the things I love about this seminary. As a matter of fact, we sent out a survey to most of the alumni, I think it was about six or 8,000, and I think two or 300 responded. And one of the themes that came up from many of the alumni was, I love Gordon-Conwell because well, the Bible, we emphasize the Bible a lot, but also diversity. And when they said diversity, what they really meant was I love the diversity of evangelicalism at Gordon-Conwell. I had courses from people who were Presbyterian and Reformed, from people who were Baptist backgrounds, from Pentecostals. I sat in a classroom with all these great diversity of people, but they all were concerned about studying Scripture and focusing their lives on Christ and being engaged in God's mission in the world. Well, what, I've, what have I done since April 1st, you might be asking. That's what a lot of people have been asking. Well, I wrote it down here on my phone, so let me pull it out and I'll tell you what I've been doing. First thing I've been doing, as many of you know, is I have been visiting faculty in their offices and invited faculty over. Actually, I've met with 32 faculty individually, four administrative teams, like the staff and so forth in the library, nine senior faculty, uh, I've met with most of them in their offices, got to talk to them. Four former faculty, those are either faculty who have left or taken a job uh, somewhere else. And then I've also met with lots of other nice people along the way, just passing through the campus and so forth. I run into somebody. I've had a hard time finding that somebody who's mean-spirited. Everybody's been great, very enjoyable to be around. And um, staff, board members, uh, students, alumni that I've run into. I've also visited, I think, 12 churches. And the 12 churches that I visited, I, I get on you know, Google and I look for churches in Beverly, and I look to make sure the pastor has been to Gordon-Conwell. And then I go to the church, I introduce myself. Last Sunday, we had a great experience. We visited a church and the pastor came up during the prayer time and laid hands on us and recognized us and prayed for us and for Gordon-Conwell Seminary. So I would have to say, I'm one of the most fortunate people in the world. I get to work at a great seminary and I'm excited to be here. This coming year, we're gonna have two major themes that are gonna be, I think, important for all of us. One is transition. We have a lot of transitions taking place, new president, for example, but also we're gonna be changing some of our curriculum, the ways that we teach, more courses online, et cetera. Probably have some summer programs on campus next year. So one of the themes is gonna be transitions. The second theme is gonna be celebration. We have 50 years, we have a 50th anniversary celebration. We're already planning that, I'm excited about it. The title of it is gonna be, I think, uh, Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary, 50th anniversary and inauguration of a new president, moi, and programs. And so we're gonna be introducing some new programs on October 11th, so get out your calendar. October 11th, it's gonna be an all day thing, ending with a big banquet in the evening. I think it's important to celebrate. It's in the Bible, as a matter of fact. And so we're gonna celebrate the fact that we have been around 50 years and had this tremendous impact. Another thing that I need to say, just my mind is going crazy now. Whenever I go to churches, I'm amazed that these churches, there's vitality there. And I've talked to people who've told me, you know, wherever you go in New England and you find a church that's growing, it usually is a Gordon Conwell graduate there. Well, now that's the case more and more in Charlotte and Jacksonville. Throughout Boston, it's been that, that way for decades and around the world. 
So that's something that we can celebrate, and we're going to talk about that October 11th. Finally, I'd like to tell you that I started a blog post. I've always been kind of resistant to social media, but I've started a blog post, and it's not just about me, it's about you. It's about Gordon Conwell, faculty, staff, what they're doing, and alumni. And so as I travel around, as I talk at faculty, at faculty meetings and meet people in the hall, if I find a good story, I kind of write it down, and then I do some thinking and praying about it. And so the first two reflections that I've done have to do with my experiences and people that I've met. And so what I'm asking you to do, Exhibit A, okay, it's coming here, is when you publish a book, an article, or you hear about something great, it's coming, it's coming, coming on, like this, Look at this, Todd Johnson wrote a little book a couple years ago. That thing is huge, that's enormous. And we got something like this, come on in here. There we go. What's up? Okay, thanks a lot, appreciate your help. <laughs> so when something like this happens, or if it's a small book or a little thing that you've published or something, we wanna push that out so our alums, future students know about what we're doing. Well, I think that's enough for me now. I'm excited to be here. Let's pray together for a future unity of the school and as we continue in excellence in training people for God's kingdom in the world. Thank you.